and welcome to vlogmas day five today i'm spending all day at home which is long overdue i've got quite a lot of things i need to crack on with um whether it's video editing or just like life admin in general um i kind of i'm going to be working a little bit this weekend so i treated myself to a bit of a morning off i just had a lovely long bath i don't normally have baths in the mornings normally just kind of before bed to really wind down but I thought you know I'm just gonna have an hour or so to myself although I did edit the vlog that you were seeing yesterday um at like eight o'clock this morning so not really too chilled in the morning but that's just me I feel like I look a bit like Draco Malfoy today because I haven't dried my hair properly it's just doing not Draco Malfoy he's the dad Lucius Malfoy nice little comparison there <laughs> I actually just found my by Terry um, Balm de Rose Toffee Lip Balm in the back of one of my cupboards when I was having a little sort out um, and I completely forgot how much I love it. I'm obviously not wearing any makeup at the moment apart from this and yeah it's just quite a nice like a brownie colour and very feels very luxurious. I've actually had um, since I think since I snapchatted my makeup area moving around because it used to be such um, such a mess really. Since I snapchatted when I redid it I've had quite a few requests to do a makeup um, area tour and while I don't think it warrants a whole video I might actually give you a little tour later on so I'm gonna be productive for an hour or so and then I might give you a little tour around this area here which is where I store all my makeup so stay tuned if you want to see that I thought I'd quickly show you what we got in our goodie bags from the lovely dinner last night with um, Debenhams and Urban Decay so it's all for the launch of this bad boy which is the Gwen Stefani palette. If you've not seen it before, it's just the most beautiful colours. You've got some really lovely, quite natural ones. Like it's got my name in lipstick, which is really cute. Yep, wearing my casual leggings. Um, so yeah, you've got some beautiful neutral colours. I think this one and this one are going to be my everydays. Maybe a little bit of this on the crease. It's kind of like a purpley shade. Quite similar to this one that I was talking about. Um, where is it? That I was talking about in my autumn makeup tutorial video. Yeah, quite similar tones to the Becca ones. A little bit darker, but yeah, that looks really lovely. I think this whole area I'll be using loads of. I'm a little bit phobic of these guys, but we'll give them a go. So yeah, that's the new Gwen Stefani palette, which is out now in Debenhams. Um, this, I think, is just a nice little, little voucher. Yep, yeah, lovely. Thank you very much, Debenhams. And then this, I'm really excited to try. One of the girls, Becca, was getting super excited about this when she saw it in her goodie bag and we all know she's the queen of highlights so I've got high expectations if I could get into it. Yeah, I've got high expectations of this and it's the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Shimmering Setting Powder and oh my lordy that is shiny. <laughs> wow, that is really beautiful and I think there's something, is there a brush underneath? Yeah, a little brush as well which is lovely. Also, what's this? A uh, waterline eye pencil. Urban Decay eye pencils are seriously the most waterproof thing in the whole world, so love those. And then, these are my favourite things. I love Urban Decay lipsticks. The texture of them is just so perfect. Let's see what the shade of this one looks like. So this one is actually called Naked, that's the shade. And look at this, it's just the most beautiful, delicate pink colour. Oh, that's the doorbell. And then, as well as the press release, there is a lovely little box of chocolates. At least I think they're chocolates. Oh, I <laughs> left the price tag on. And this cute little kind of Scandi wooden uh, tree decoration. And a candy cane. So lovely selection of bits from the goodie bag. So thank you very much, Debenhams and Urban Decay. So the postman just dropped off these bits and bobs from Next. And I think it's some Christmas decorations which I ordered. So I thought we could have a little look through those together. So I've undone all the packages and these are my lovely new pieces from Next. So I got loads of bits for the home. This is one of their um, Reed diffusers. I've tried Reed Next diffusers, Reed Next diffusers? Next Reed diffusers before. Um, and I didn't actually find it was very strong. But then we went to Charlie's mum's house and she had, I think it was the London, was it London? I don't know. Like this packaging, but London. Um, 
and it just smelled really lovely so I decided to give it another try and so far this smells really really lovely and it's quite a quite a chic design with the black reeds so got one of those um, then we got some of these flickering, they're not real flames, but I think they look really realistic. They're these battery operated ones. Um, and there's three in the box with these lovely gold sparkly snowflakes. So I think they'll look really nice probably up on our bookshelf somewhere. And then for the coffee table, um, or even our dining table, I just got this really big gold sparkly one, which is a real candle. And the scent of this one... And the scent of that one is quite piney, so it's just going to really add to the Christmassy smell in this room. And then lastly, and these are definitely my favourite thing of the whole um, little haul. There was actually four, but I've put the other two in the dishwasher already. These are little mulled wine glasses. So they're really chunky glass, so perfect when we have our Christmas jumper party next weekend. Um, yeah, really nice chunky glass with this Fair Isle print. So lovely for the mulled wine. So yeah, really pleased with my little Christmas haul from next also got a delivery from Cafe Latte, which I've not tried before, so let's have a little look what's inside here. No. No. So, let's have a little look. Ooh, got a scroll. A little note. Oh, very cosy. Dexter, no. Can't do anything with you around. So they've sent over a lovely cosy pair of gloves. These look incredibly scrumptious and warm. No, monkey. And then a little bobble hat from ASOS with a bobble which is the same colour as their branding. Very nice. Um, a little lip balm. Ooh, no. Beastie. Uh -uh. Come back here, you cheeky monkey. A little bottle of Baileys. And you know what? I actually have never tried Baileys before, so maybe I need to give this a go. Um, and a lovely big scarf as well, which Dexter obviously really likes the look of. A nice Topshop scarf. And I'm guessing this might be the coffee. And last but not least, they have also sent three of their Cafe Latte Cappuccino iced coffees. Now, I've never actually... Oh, and they also sent an ice block, which is keeping Dexter entertained. I've never actually tried iced coffee before. I have to be honest, I don't like the sound of it. I just, I do like coffee, but for me, I like that it's comforting and warming. So I will, of course, give this a go and let you know how I get on. Dexter obviously likes the look of it. No! God, you're being such a hooligan! Dexter, over the net. Stop it. <clears throat> Who, me? Who, me? So it looks really frothy, actually like a normal cappuccino, and then the lid is like a normal coffee lid, so I'm going to pop that back on. Hmm, that's actually really nice. It's kind of like, it's like what you would think a hot chocolate would taste like, but a cold chocolate milk. So I've just opened the press release from the Cafe Latte Cappuccino um, things, and they're running a competition where if you share a photo on social media, I don't know if it's Instagram or Twitter or <coughs> both, um, oh, yes, Instagram, of your favourite way of keeping cool during the cooler months, then um, use the hashtag staywarmkeepcool, then they are going to send the best ones a free collection of their cappuccinos. So, yeah, that's a fun one if you want to try out the cappuccinos. I just... This is my setup for my photo. You can see there, I've just put it all on my marble table. This is not sponsored, by the way, I just was sent these and I thought I would tell you about it. So we are upstairs again, and now I'm going to show you my makeup collection. I'm going to try and make this quite a fun part of Vlogmas, so I'm going to film it as though it was an actual makeup collection video. So I hope you enjoy. is my vanity station where I keep the vast majority of my makeup. There's a couple of drawers here which have got um, a different selection of products in and then in this corner over here you can just see it by the side of my wardrobe is another desk of drawers with also um, a load of products in it. So first of all let's have a little look at my Muji block. 
So for the Moody drawers, I've got a total of six stacks of drawers. They come in sets of two, um, so I've got three sets of two. Um, I got these from Muji, and then also from Muji, I have this little plastic uh, set on top. So as you can see, this is where I keep my makeup brushes. This is pretty much all my makeup brushes, except for a few which I don't really use, which I'll show you in a second. In this little section, I've got my Zoeva Rose Golden brushes. These are my newest brushes, they're absolutely beautiful, and to be honest, they're so pristine and new that I haven't um, actually started using them yet. So I've kept them separate so that I just know where they are, and I can keep them looking beautiful. This section is my smaller brushes, which are very regularly used. Some of my favourites include this one, which is a Charlotte Tilbury powder and sculpt, so I use this one for contouring. Also, these two from Zoeva, apologies they're not sparkling clean, but this is the 110 face shape and the 142 conceal and buff, and I use these for blending in my concealer under the eye and around the face. I also regularly use my Too Faced eyeshadow blending brush and Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeshadow blending brush, both really good for creating an eyeshadow base. And also in here is a Delilah lip liner brush. I think Delilah is really underrated when it comes to makeup brushes, but this is definitely my favourite lip liner brush and I use this whenever I want to get a really precise lip look. Then in this section, which if I take this away you can see more clearly, I've got my larger brushes in an anthropology mug with a little J on it. So inside here, my Charlotte Tilbury bronzing brush is pretty much used every day. Really love this one. Then I've got a Sigma brush, which still has some masking tape on it from when I did some filming for a brand. But this is a Sigma, I think it's called the Face Shape brush, and I use this when I want to do um, some quite precise powdering. So maybe if I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Light powder. My Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush I use every single day for my foundation. My Bobbi Brown Blusher Brush is another one which I use every single day. And then also in here, some powder brushes, another bronzing brush, um, and a contour brush, which I use on quite a regular basis, but not quite every day. I also keep my Erin Amber Musk up here, just because it looks really pretty. And then in this section, I've got some pretty lipsticks and lip glosses from YSL which includes their Baby Doll Kiss and Blush in three different colours. I also keep a couple of my YSL Rouge Volupte Shine um, lipsticks up there just because they are so beautiful. Moving down into the drawers, this first drawer here is mostly lipsticks. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks here. I wanted them on display because they're rose gold and absolutely beautiful. My favourite of all the Charlotte Tilburys is Sexy Sienna. I wear this nearly every day in summer and it's such a lovely consistency and colour and the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. So I keep my Charlotte Tilburys there, which I use quite regularly. Quite OCD about them being the right way around as well. Next to the Charlotte Tilburys, I've got some Estee Lauder lip products here, starting with a couple of their lip potion stains. I've got a red one and a more of a brownie taupe Kendall Jenner kind of shade, and I love these, they're really long lasting. Then a few Estee Lauder lipsticks as well, which I keep lined up so that I can see the name along here. And behind them I've got a few um, lip products which I use quite regularly, including my Sephora Luster Matte Lip Colour in the shade Fig, I think it's Fig, Fig Luster or something. Um, and some more balmy products, and then I've got the Rimmel, I think it's Apocalypse or Provocalypse, which is a really super dupe for the Chanel lip stain. The next draw down is even more lipsticks, starting with a few from Tom Ford, including these really cute tiny ones which are from their Lips and Boys range, they're absolutely minuscule, but I've got a couple of those. Then we have Elizabeth Arden, and these are Erin ones, and a couple more YSL lipsticks as well. Again, in the back section, some more random lipsticks. I've got an old style Chanel one, Bobbi Brown, um, some L'Oreal, Urban Decay, quite a mixture in the back there. The next drawdown is mostly eye products, so I've got a few of these um, Benefit eye creams in some quite lovely neutral colours. These, I'd say, are my most used single eye products. So we've also got this lovely one from Clarins, which I use really regularly, um, especially for highlighting the brow bone. This is a really gorgeous one, which I haven't really used that much from Burberry. Then we've got some from Dior, another Clarins, and some lovely Barium glitters. So this is where I keep most 
of my eyeshadow single products. Down here, this is my concealer drawer. I'm just gonna move the candles out the way so we can get into here. So I've got the vast majority of my concealers in here, ranging from Bourjois. It's their Radiance Reveal Concealer, and I really have been loving using that one recently. This is Benefit Boing, a really good, very strong concealer for any pesky marks which don't seem to vanish. And then I've got my under eye concealers, of which I have loads because you guys know how I hate my under eye area. And we've got the really light ones like by Terry, of course, NARS Creamy Concealer, and then good old YSL Touche Eclat. So this is where I keep all of my concealers. Next drawer down, and there's no particular order to these drawers, it's just how they are, you can see is my mascaras. So I've got quite a selection of mascaras in here. Uh, one of my newer ones includes the benefits of their real primer. So this, as you can imagine, is like a brown mascara which you put on before your normal mascara and it just preps the eyelashes to make them nice and chunky and then you can top it with either the brown or the black, which doesn't seem to be here. Um, and then I've got some from Clinique. Another benefit, they're real. The Clarins Ultra Waterproof. This is literally the most waterproof mascara in the whole world. So yeah, all of my mascaras are here. And then along the front here, even a few Diddy handbag sized ones, which I rotate in my handbag. Finally, in the bottom drawer, this is eyeliners and kind of eye crayons. So we've got liquid liners ranging from Collection Fast Stroke, um, couple of these kind of gel liners, mostly from Bobbi Brown. Then I've even got things like my flesh coloured liners in here, the Eye Bright which is again for the corner of the eye. I've got some eyeshadow crayons, this is an Elizabeth Arden one, um, Charlotte Tilbury. So yeah, mostly things that are in stick form or just eyeliners in the bottom drawer. So from the Moody Jewels I'm going to take you down here to my drawers, these two down here. I'll start with this one because it's the logistical way of the way that I apply my makeup. So in here I've got a range of serums, moisturisers, um, primers, and then a few little odd bits and bobs in here. So this area is mostly things that I put on before my moisturiser. So I've got like, for example, the REN um, Instant Firming Beauty Shot, this lovely um, Radiance Boosting Serum from Oskia, and a lovely Origins uh, Serum. Here we then have my slightly lesser used moisturizers. This used to be the one that I used every day. It's the Liz Earl Repairing Moisturizer, but it's nearly finished and I've kind of been saving that till summertime. Another serum which just didn't fit in there, a Nivea primer, um, and then we have some of my favorite primers in here like the Delilah Underwear Primer. Um, this is actually a little sneaky glance as to one that Elizabeth Arden are releasing very soon. I'm not sure how much I can talk about it, um, but yeah, I've got a little sample there which I have been using. And then here are some of my more used moisturisers. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream is the one I'm loving at the moment. And then when my skin's a little bit more oily, I love the Estee Lauder Clear Difference Moisturising Gel. For when I want some tanning, I've got the Clarins Instant Smooth Self Tanning. Um, and an Origins Make the Difference Plus when my skin just needs some extra loving. Then this section here is full of slightly random pieces. I've got a few beauty blenders, an under eye cream, um, a really good under eye cream from Darfan. Then we've got things like tweezers and nail items, the key to the room, some eyelash glue. So just a really random selection of bits and bobs here. Then this is just like kind of a strange area where I've got teeth whitening strips, under eye potions from the Urban Decay palettes, and then these are like eyebrow shaping stencils. So I keep those, don't use them that regularly, but I keep them all slotted in there. So that's that drawer. Then if we spin around to this drawer over here, we've got a whole load of foundations and highlighters and powders. So as you can see, a pretty full drawer. In here is the foundations that I use on a very regular basis, ranging from my favourites, which is the Rimmel uh, Match Perfection, to some CC creams. I love the By Terry Sheer Expert CC cream. Then some which I don't use quite so much, but um, you know they're still there. Hourglass Immaculate Finish Foundation, uh, nearly finished my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue some lighter textured ones like Dior Skin, basically all my foundations in this little pot there and the odd tinted moisturiser thrown in for good measure. 
Over here, you'll see my eyelash curlers, rose gold tweezerman ones, um, which is just a bit of an oddity in that drawer, but it's just where they live. Here, we've mostly got powders, so I've got Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy, um, Urban Decay, this is actually Film Star Bronze and Glow. So yeah, just a selection of powders in there. And then in this tin, which is actually quite hard for me to get to, I have my highlights. So I can usually just about reach the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, which is my most used one. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous, both the packaging and the product inside. So that's my most used, but we've also got a few um, base highlighters, like these ones from Clarins, the Hourglass Instant Light Powder, and also some seriously good budget highlighters, like the Revolution Baked Highlight. This is such a good highlighter, and yeah, great value for money. So all my highlighters and similar things to that are in this little box at the back. This was actually a biscuit tin from Biscuiteers, and you might be able to guess this is a glossy box thing, so I don't really have any proper storage boxes in there, just kind of made do. So we're gonna whiz around now to this chest of drawers, which is hidden between my wardrobe and um, the walls. So let's have a little closer look in here. So on top, as you can see, I've got some perfumes. These are my most worn. I've got the Tom Ford Noir, YSL Black Opium, also some Jo Malone favourites, I've got Pomegranate Noir and um, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is just a Neon Room Spray which I keep there. My Nooks, um, you know that golden, I can't remember what it's called. My Lizelle Perfume, a little Diptyque Candle um, and then the Dior Air Flash Foundation which just didn't fit in my foundation drawer. I've also got these which are the Ilia um, false eyelashes which I've been using a lot recently so they are just out on the surface and then this is an incredible set from L'Oreal. So inside you'll see I've just got absolutely loads of lipsticks from the different ranges um, from L'Oreal from the colour riche ranging from the pinks and the nudes to the reds so I keep this more as just a limited edition kind of special occasion box. Into the first drawer and as you can see this is mostly lip products. So in here, this is all my lip liners. It's actually in the top of um, a Miu Miu sunglasses box case. So just literally lip liners in there um, and a lipstick which actually should be in that one. So yeah, all my lip liners are in this section here. Some of my favorites include Urban Decay and also, even though it's been chewed by the dog, Topshop lip liners I absolutely love. Here we've got kind of overflow lip products, so ranging from lipsticks like my Delilah, uh, Topshop Lip Bullet, which if you've been watching me um, recently you'll know I'm absolutely in love with this one. Got some more Ila Masca, um, H&M, so just lots more lipsticks in this box here. Then we've got my balms, ranging from the EOS Balm, Carmex, by Terry Elizabeth Arden, just loads and loads of different lip balms in this area here. And then this kind of hidden area at the back here is slightly more random product. So if I move this out the way, you can see it more clearly. Um, this is a really strange tweezerman item, which um, I don't really know how to use it, but I've got it in there anyway. Got some tweezers. This is a kind of evil spot solution thing. Pencil sharpeners, primers, you name it. Just kind of a random selection of products in there. So let's go to the next drawer down. This is mostly my palettes and um, eyebrow area. So this box here has got mostly my eyebrow products in it, um, ranging from gels like the Benefit Gimme Brow to my pencils, I love the Urban Decay ones, Tom Ford, and then I've even got my um, pots of brow gel in here like the Anastasia, so that's all my brow products in there. This here is my most used bronzers and blushes. So we've got uh, things like Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, my Hourglass Bronzer, Hourglass Blusher, uh, Charlotte Tilbury Blusher. These are just the ones I use the most. And underneath, in this section here, is ones I don't use quite as often, but still want to have available. So H&M, Clinique, some Clarins ones, just all my other bronzers and blushes in there. These little containers, by the way, are from Muji. And then this corner here is mostly my palettes. So I've got the Anastasia uh, contour kit, I've got a lovely Clarins eyeshadow set there. This is the Makeup Revolution blush palette, which I love and is such good value. My brand new Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette just lives 
at the back there with still a little bit of room for some more. And then these are some favourites including of course the Steeler palette, we've got this one from Becca, I've got my Naked 3, Naked Smoky, one from Too Faced, um, so yeah just all my eyeshadow palettes in there. And then going down to the very bottom drawer, and I don't go in here too regularly. So if we take a closer look, you can see that I've got some face mists in this bottom area. One of my favourites is this one, which is the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. A good dupe is the Makeup Revolution Oil Control, but this one smells a little bit more funny. Um, then we've got some refreshing ones like Cholique and Cordially and the Body Shop Vitamin E. Got some face wipes down here because you always need some spare um, face wipes. Then here we've got a selection of hand sanitizers. These are from Bath and Body Works in the US. I just have a little collection of those. Then I've got some perfume samples ranging from these really cute ones such as the bottles from Chloe and Victor and Rolf and the slightly larger ones here. These are Narciso Rodriguez. And another one, another Victor and Rolf. And I'm not sure if you can see at the back here, but these are kind of spare, um, grippy things for my eyelash curlers. This is even more perfume samples, slightly smaller ones, so I always top these up in my handbag or if I'm going away for just a few days. Here are some eyelashes which I use quite regularly. I have got a box at the other side of the wardrobe with some slightly less regularly used eyelashes. So even more from Ilia, um, Ardell, and more from Ilia. And then there's a couple of Millie Macintosh lashes at the back here. And then finally, this is just one of these really cute little emergency kits. So it's got like a breath spray and sanitary wipes, you know, the kind of stuff. Just a little emergency kit down in the bottom there. And that pretty much makes up my whole makeup collection. So I hope you guys have enjoyed having a little look through that with me. It's been quite fun showing you and if it changes in the near future, um, I'm probably not 100% happy with how it is right now. I think it needs to be a little bit more organised, then I will definitely show you again. So that was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing my makeup collection. I did it on my camera on the tripod, so hopefully the quality will have been okay for those videos. I did have a few outtakes. I may have spilt stuff all over the place, so I'm going to insert those now for your entertainment. So inside this set, it's absolutely amazing. You've got all... And then towards the back... I had a few little fails as you can see. Now I'm going to go downstairs and edit some videos. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put live tomorrow, whether I'm going to do November favourites or Primark haul, but um, we shall see. So yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and edit now. Another knock on the door and I've just had a huge delivery from Radley. I do love my job sometimes. Let's have a little look at what is inside. I'm doing a campaign for them this Christmas, so this is probably the goodies for that. So we've got a few lovely little stocking fillers, um, there's this very cute notebook with the Radley dog on it, I think this is just yeah, a plain lined notebook in a nice hard shell. And then because I wanted some home gifts I got some of these nice little tea towels and a matching scarf with the Radley doggy print on it. And in here is my leather accessory and I've got this gorgeous purse. It's such a lovely kind of light stone grey um, with the Radley dog and a beautiful pink colour inside. Oh, it's got two sections. So you've got that bit and like the wallet section inside. So not a bad little treat from Radley for a Friday morning. So I've just come to pick up my post and all of this is mine. So we are going to have good fun unwrapping this when I get home. So Charlie and I are having um, Chinese tonight. It was two mains and three sides for £10, which is really good. So we've got the duck in the oven. And Charlie's fitting out the timing. Oh shit, it's all over my face. There's none for you, none for puppies. But while that's cooking, I'm just snacking on um, bread and butter. Is there anything better than bread and butter in this whole world? I'm gonna unpack the stuff from my doddle, um, which is kind of like a P.O. box you've probably seen on my Snapchat, but oh my god. It's actually ridiculous. Okay, I'm actually pretty knackered. I have been undoing my blogger mail 
God, I'm shiny. Excuse my lack of makeup. I've been undoing my blogger mail for the past like hour now. Um, it takes quite a long time to put everything away. I'm quite OCD and I can't really relax until everything's tidy. But I got some really, really lovely bits. Some of the brands were really generous um, and sent me some nice little Christmas packages. So I'm just going to show you a few of my favourite bits and bobs. So Estee Lauder have this eyeshadow palette, which the palette itself is absolutely gorgeous. You've got some really lovely neutral um, eyeshadows and one for the brow bone. And just, you know, the kind of colours that you want to wear every day. But what makes this really cool is that you are supposed to personalise your palette with these little stickers. Um, and they're actually doing that in their box park store so I thought that's really really good fun I'm gonna have a fun little play around with those tomorrow so that's a nice little one from Estee Lauder uh, glossy box this is pretty cool so they've collaborated with um, blogger and youtuber called really re and this box as you can see is rose gold which of course we all absolutely love let's have a little look what's inside We've got a lovely pale pink ribbon so the packaging on this one is just beautiful And what have we got inside? Oh, I love these. So this is the Biocellulose Second Skin Facial Mask. I think it's, yeah, it's one of those sheet ones which me and Charlie absolutely love to do. Um, then we've got, I think, is this mascara or a highlighting crayon from So Susan? And if I remember correctly, I think this is one of those lovely organic brands when everything is very natural. Um, a cheeky nail varnish in this nice light pink colour. And then what is this? Looks it looks a bit like the bourgeois um, lip lacquer, so I don't think it is. Brand E. It's not Essie, is it? Whatever it is, it's a brand with an E symbol and it's um, a liquid lipstick. And then we've got a caviar eye gel by Entre Bell. I've not heard of that brand before. Oh yes, my favourite. Finally, we have a little product from Darfan, Essential Oil, Essential Oil Elixir. Don't actually know what that product is. Let's have a little look. Darfan is probably one of my favourite, if not my favourite, skincare brand of all time. Right up there with Liz Earl. Just love all their products. Oh, this looks rather lovely. What's this? Oh my gosh. This is the Nectar, um, Nectar Flower Oil Cream. I am obsessed with this product. It's so lovely. So it's a pretty new launch and it's a kind of cross between a cream and an oil. It's just the most heavenly um, scent and texture and it's so nice on the skin. So I'm definitely going to keep this in my overnight bag because it's a lovely dinky little size. So a really good glossy box from Really Re. Some really nice things in there and the most beautiful packaging of a glossy box that I ever did see. So lots of lovely pieces in the post for me today, but of course, because it's the 12 days of Fashion Mumbler Vlogmas, I have a giveaway for you to receive something lovely in the post as well. And today is definitely my favorite one so far. I'm giving away a brand new Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. So this is the brand new one. I will show you um, my one in my drawer in case, you're not, in case you've not seen it before. So you will be receiving um, a brand new one of these and it's just the most beautiful eyeshadow palette with this gorgeous like smoky exterior um, and some really gorgeous wearable shades inside. You can see that I've been really going for the browns um, and then the more neutral colours up here. So yeah, you will be winning one of these and all you've got to do is share this vlog either on your Twitter or on your Facebook or on your Instagram, just share it somehow and then let me know in the comments down below when you've done that. Leave me a link or something or tag me in your tweet or in your Instagram. I'll leave all my details below so you can tag me and then just leave me a little comment down below to let me know that you've done it and this could be on its way to you. Even after all that Chinese food, I'm still going to be having a nice pudding. I've got a creme brulee which Charlie has just baked in the oven for me. So me and Dexter and Charlie are just going to have quite a chilled Friday night in. We're not very hardcore these days, we just prefer to <laughs> stay at home and watch some TV. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. Got my creme brulee over there, which I'm really excited to eat. So I know that loads of other bloggers and YouTubers have got dachshunds as well and maybe some people watching this. And Dexter's chest bone is really prominent. Like it sticks out like, I'd say, two inches from the rest of his rib cape. So can someone please tell me if this is normal? Because I do worry about my baby. But I'm gonna end today's vlog here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye bye.